guys, this is going to be a denture video. Um, a few people have asked me to uh, do one about my dentures and thought I'd go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, so if you see me looking over here, that's quite my long notes. Um, today I had a denture appointment, so um, I figured perfect time. Um, anyways. Um, I originally got my wax set of dentures in February, late February, early March, somewhere in there. Um, and it was a horrible, horrible fit. They were very crooked. Um, I had to have multiple visits to get them refitted because they were not meeting together. The bottom teeth were too long. Um, I had to reapply the adhesive like three or four times a day. Um, it literally was impossible for me to eat anything with them. And, um, and if I did attempt to eat anything with them, I knew it was going to be a problem. Like I knew that if I did bite down into something, they were definitely going to come out and it it was going to cause a problem. So, um, it also got to a point to where, um, like, as you know, since I work at Pizza Hut, that when I was talking to people over the phone, um, people couldn't understand me. I was having to repeat myself over and over and over. Um, anyway, so that was a big problem. Um, and you know, uh, for like two and a half months, I was only putting them in when I had to go to appointments of whatever kind. And um, I wouldn't eat in front of anybody uh, since I knew they'd come loose and I'd get embarrassed. And I kept calling the dentist all the time, telling them these things. And they kept telling me, well, it looks like you're just going to have to end up getting implants. And I kept saying, well, you know, no, you just need to fix the teeth. There's something wrong with the teeth. And um, they're like, well, no, some people just can't wear dentures. Like, you're just going to have to have implants. Like, you're, you know, it's just not right. You're going to have to have implants. And I said, okay, well, that may be true, but there's also something wrong with the teeth. Like, they're, they're, not, they're not right. And um, so, um, you know, I just, I kept, insisting over and over and over and I was like you know look I didn't get the most expensive ones but I did pay you know a little over a thousand dollars for the insurance total and out of pocket I paid like 500 and something I think it was like 540 something I think and um I was like to you guys this may not be a lot of money but to me that that that's enough you know because that's why I put off so long because it's enough money to where it made a difference and this is something that I'm going to wear for a while and I want to be happy with them. And um, anyways, so my gums were sore. I got to the point where sometimes they were bleeding. Finally, I got them to schedule me in for today. And originally when I talked to him, it ended up being like two weeks from the time that I talked to him. And um, they said, you know, we'll just need to see if we need to have a whole new set made then and I said, okay, you know, that's fine. If that's what needs to happen, then that's what needs to happen. But we need to figure it out because something needs to be done. I am, I'm not enjoying them and I should be able to enjoy them. I spent money on them and, you know, I went from having nothing in my mouth to having something, but what's in there is not making me happy. It's causing me more pain and heartache and trouble than anything. And, um... Anyway, so, you know, I go in today at 9 o'clock in the morning and sit down and they look at everything and they said, you know, um, yeah, these are all things that we can adjust and, and do things, you know, to fix, but um, it looks like your mouth is healed enough for us to go ahead and do the final because the final originally was supposed to be done next month. And I said, great, let's do it. So, um... 
they said, okay, um, yeah, these are completely out of whack because they were like way over here. And um, they ended up having to do like two molds because apparently, and you can see because these, these are the finals that I'm wearing right now. Right there. And I like them. There's some more things I'll talk about when I get towards the end of this video. But, um, you know, I like them. But you can see here. Towards the end, I'll get right up under the light and try and show you how they're at. Here they are. But, um... They did, you know, they were like, yes, they're definitely really out of whack. So they had to take two different molds because apparently what the dentist said is for some reason, like my jaw, when I go to bite down, like one side is coming down harder and faster than the other side. So like my jaw is coming down crooked and you can tell like even now, like I have to force myself for it to come down straight. So if I just do like a regular smile, see, it still wants to go sideways a little bit. I don't know why. That's just what it does. That just, see, just a bit. Not crazy, but just a little bit. But the other set that I had, if you go look back at the other video, I don't know how much you can tell because I kind of tried to go around it the best that I could, but... They were like really far over. It wasn't good. Anyways, so um, three hours later, they did a test fitting to see if they were ready to get the you know final ones set and firing to go for the permanent set. And uh, they fit good enough. That's when he told me, you know, yeah, you, you, I don't know what it is, but those were definitely way, way wrong. So it must have been that because they had just pulled the teeth and then I still had a few teeth that were there and when it came down to the molding that the teeth that when my jaw came down like it just see that's how that's how it was aligning on the other one and that's not how it should have been but that's how the other tooth looked if I didn't hold it the other way that's how they were lining up and clearly that's not how you want them to line up and that hurt, it was uncomfortable, and that's what was making my mouth hurt so bad. So, anyway, so we got that done. They started getting them ready, and then they said, okay, come back at like 3.30, 3.45, no later than 4, to pick up your final set. So, I was so happy, so excited. Hold on, flipping my notes over. And, like, beyond ready to do it. And we go back to get them. And then I come home. And um, first thing I did, let's eat. Because, you know, as you know, since I'm sick, I'm having to take, like, steroids and antibiotics. So I'm having to eat. You know, it feels like constantly right now, which is not good. Because I'm wanting to lose weight, not gain weight. But I'm having to take all that medication. So I'm having to eat with it because my body doesn't do good on medication. Anyways, um, I had a beef fried steak, mashed potatoes, sauteed asparagus for the first meal. You guys, I literally teared up eating this meal. No joke. Like I literally, I'm like literally ecstatic from it. It was the first time in like three and a half, four years I was able to eat a meal in under 10 minutes. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I was. Normally, I'm having to cut my food like this tiny. It still was taking me like 30, 45 minutes to be able to eat it. Um, I just, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't have any pain. There was no movement from the dentures. Like, I didn't feel like there was nothing moving around. Like, I didn't feel food, like, getting up underneath anything like in the other ones. Um, I don't, it was amazing. It was, like, the best thing that I ever 
I mean, it's crazy, but if any of you out there wear dentures and you've experienced any of this stuff, you know it's amazing when you've gone so long of either having no teeth or having bad teeth that didn't fit right, and then you get the pair that fit amazing. It's like a godsend. <laughs> it's awesome. And I can't tell you how amazing it was. I was so freaking happy. And I just, I don't know, I'm so happy. Anyways, moving past that part. Um, the only The only complaint that I have so far... And I don't know if it's just the way that I move my mouth with them. And I need to just learn differently or what. Because I feel like when I smile, like a regular smile, like a... And you can tell me. I feel like it shows too much gum. But I don't know. I don't know. Of course, and like I said, this goes back to another thing. Like, if you have dentures or you know someone who does, it's something that sometimes it takes a little while for you to decide if that's something you like or you don't like. But, um, anyways, uh, I did have someone who left me a comment. Let's see, sorry, forgive my hand. Um, on the other video, I believe it was someone by the name of JGGG um, asking me about my tongue ring, how I wear my tongue ring with my dentures. Um, as you can tell, I'm not wearing it right now. Um, I was wearing, I didn't wear it for probably three or four months. I had just started wearing it here recently. Um, and it took me a good, maybe a week or two to get used to it. Um, and I felt like that affected the way that I talked for a while. And then I had, I, I had to do more of that kind of like really enunciating, um, but I'm leaving it out right now just because I'm trying to re, you know, you know, teach myself how to do things with these in. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put it back in. Um, I did put it in when we came home and I felt like certain words were starting to sound like this again. Like it was sounding with the other teeth and it made me unhappy so I took it out. Um, I do miss my tongue ring because I liked it a lot, but um, it's not worth it when it comes to that part because I want to be happy with these. And I took it out. So I'm going to see how it goes for a little while and see if it's just that I need to train my mouth how to move with the teeth and learn how to enunciate the right way and, and so forth. And then attempt to put it in and see if that, that's what I need to do. Um, so we'll find out. But um, the other person who left me a comment um, is uh, Liberty Bell 99 Wanted to know about the cleaning products and adhesive that I use. Um... I'll answer that question for you, and let's see here. I did comment on it, but I will bring it up here in the video. Um, with the wax set that I had, um, I just used dowel soap with like a regular soft bristle toothbrush and soaked them in water. And um, originally used the um, Polygrip um, what do you call it? Like the like the actual gosh, I'm like at a loss for words. It was like the uh, 
glue, like actual like adhesive little glue. And uh, that was horrible. And then when I got the soft liner put in, they had me switch over to the powder. And the powder was awful, but that was all I could find for a while. Finally, I found the fix it in extra hold powder. That works really well. I was still having to use it a couple of times a day, but I think that's because my dentures were not a good fit at the time. But, um, you know, I don't know. So that's what I was using with the wax set. Of course, I just got these today. But I plan on using, um, you know, because I talked to them. They've told me that um, I can use all the same things for these, I just need to, um, now instead of just soaking them in water, I can use like the Effordent or, um, some of the different types of the little tablets to soak my teeth in overnight. Now, since they're not the wax teeth, um, so that is that. Um, that, that's how I, that's how I care for them. I know that like, um, like for instance, like when we were coming home, all of a sudden it dawned on me, I was like, oh crap, I was just ready to get out of the office. I didn't ask them what's different on how I need to care for them. And my boyfriend's like, oh, just Google it. And I was like, no, that's how people mess their teeth up is just by Googling the stuff. They don't ask them because I said each dentist is going to use different types of products and teeth and things like that so you don't know what type you have you don't know what product they use so you don't know what they recommend with what they have and if you are putting just random stuff that you pulled up from online you don't know that what you're using on yours is not something that you you shouldn't be using you know it could be something that's causing more harm to yours so you know I of course got home and called um sorry I get easily distracted and my patio door is right over here and people are walking by anyways so of course when I got home I called and he's laughing at me but I called because I mean I want to take care of them I paid for them I want to take care of them so anyways um thinking um basically I guess that's it the only other thing uh, I was gonna bring up was oh I was gonna say one other thing real quick uh I was gonna ask you guys one your opinion do you think it does show too much gum let's get over here if I do a more relaxed smile, it's like this. here if I just show you what they look like when I'm just talking I feel like when I'm talking it's less obvious that I have fake teeth that's just my opinion compared to the ones that I had before I feel like they're less obvious when it comes to the feel of them that is something I was going to talk about and I almost forgot to bring it up the feel amazing compared to what the other ones felt like for anybody out there who right now is in your temporaries Hold on. This is amazing compared to it. Amazing. These, they feel like real teeth, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Now the pink, they still feel, eh. but the teeth, though, it's completely different. Completely different compared to the wax. Completely different. So, Hold on, okay? You're going to get through the temporary, the permanent, 
They're worth it, okay? They're worth it. Anyways, so back to my question. Compared to what I look like with the wax, to what I look like now with my permanents, can you tell? Like, is it is it obvious? One, is it obvious that the teeth are different? Do they look better? That's question two. And then question three. Do they look real? I guess it's kind of the same thing as question two. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm just excited. I really like them. I like them, I do. But do they show too much gum? I guess that kind of could be question three. Nah. Anyways, so then the other thing, the last thing I was gonna say was kind of back to the video thing. Um, on another idea towards the denture videos so I can keep making those if you guys want me to that is um do you want to see any of me without teeth I don't know do you um oh the other question do I do I sound like do I sound any better am I talking better now yes no maybe um, anyways, back to that. Do you want to see any videos of me without my teeth? Um, do you want to... Th these are questions just because I know from when I was looking at YouTube videos, and I still do watch them, things that I was curious about. Because I'm curious, like, sometimes when I get up in the morning and I go to leave, I'm sitting here going, ugh, I don't want to put them on. You know, but then I'm like, I do. I just, I don't, you know, <laughs> anyways, um, do you want, uh, videos about intimacy with them? Videos about how work is with them, um, how my kids reactions are with them, how it makes me feel with them, how it made me feel to know that I needed them, how it made me feel to hear everybody else's reactions, to know I needed them, and then how it made me feel to hear everyone's reactions once I got them, and how it makes me feel when people find out that I do have dentures, things like that. If you want to see any videos about any of those things, let me know, because these are things that I wanted to know about, things that I'm still curious about. Um, I don't want to just throw it out there if you guys aren't curious about any of it. Because maybe you're not. Maybe you already know the answers to these things. But maybe you might want to know if anybody else has experienced some of the same things you've experienced. I don't know. Anyways, give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. Um, subscribe. Please, please subscribe if you liked it. And I will see you guys for my next video. Thank you. Have a great night, guys.